Hello my friends and welcome. I am Morjax and this is another power leveling tutorial for seven days to die here. So this is, uh, today we're going to be looking at construction skills. And uh, this is a really useful thing just for building bases in general, but it's also a really easy thing to get your character level up. And when you level up your character, you have points to spend on the skills that you want. So the best thing that I have found is uh, you get your best uh, uh, upgrade tool. Like I have a hammer or you can use wrenches. Uh, stone axes or nail guns and i like to find just a big structure like this barn for example is a very good candidate and you see you can see i've already upgraded this a lot so once you've upgraded essentially find a building find a, a relatively large building and just upgrade it even if you have no intent to stay here um, upgrade it to as high as you can with the material you have whether that's wood or scrap or concrete or steel so uh, then, once you've done that, another way to do it is just to build a wall of frames like this. Frames are relatively cheap. And just start upgrading it here. So if you only have wood, you can upgrade it two times here. And that's that's not a problem. It just takes a little bit longer to do. Uh, wood is very easy to get a hold of. So that's a great way to start. You can upgrade all these guys. And then once you've upgraded to wood, you can start upgrading to scrap iron. And that's going to cost, I think it's 20 scrap iron per per uh, full set of three upgrades, if that makes sense. So you can keep upgrading it that way. And then once you've done that, you can start going to uh, concrete. There's two levels of concrete that you can do. And so you see, I've, can, I've got some concrete mix. Now this gets to be very expensive. So I would say don't do this um, randomly unless you've got a lot to burn. But... In the course of just making your whatever base you're working on, um, it can actually be very beneficial to just simply build. I mean, it sounds kind of dumb, but that's the that's the way to do it. Is just to just to build. Uh, and you know, if you if you're planning out a relatively large base, it doesn't take too long to get your construction skills up pretty dang high. So, uh, and then once I'm gonna I'm, I've got it on single player cheat mode just to have a sandbox going on here. Once you've upgraded it, you can see the uh, the concrete here is, is wet, and then once it dries, that's when you can upgrade it one last time with forged steel. Now, this is very, very expensive, so I cannot say I would recommend this unless you're doing um, this on your base. You know, I would, I would not recommend doing this on just some random structure because it's pretty expensive to do all that for a place you're not planning to stay, and you burn through it relatively quickly. So, um, yes, although I'm, I'm using uh, cheat mode right now just to kind of show you what I'm working on, the, uh, the principle stands that this is a very good way and pretty quick way to get your construction skills up. And the reason that mine have not gone up in the course of this video is because they're at like 98 out of 100 because I upgraded this whole barn already. Um, so, yes, I hope that helps you guys to... Uh, Power level your character, and this way you can get more points to spend on things that you want, like sexual Tyrannosaurus, or uh, what are some other ones I like? Let's get rid of this here. Um, survivor and Camel, reduce your hunger and uh, and thirst, how fast those degrade. So those are all very good skills, and you need points to spend on them. So this is how you go about doing that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description to a playlist with more power leveling tips for 7 Days to Die. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. To get email notifications for all my episodes, hit subscribe, then the gear button, tick the checkbox, and hit save.